If you're struggling with this too and you want to join in and have support, I'm going to try and conquer an addiction. Aloha! Top of the morning, friends and family. How are you wonderful, beautiful people doing today? I was gonna do a video showing off the clutch and we'll still take a look at this clutch, the one that I showed in this past Wednesday's uncut video with all of the blue-eyed leukistic animals, the purple passion that was bred with super pastel lesser. I think I'd really like to do the video when they're completely shed out, but I still will show you some nice, beautiful cinematic footage of them right here. Lots of white snakes coming out and uh, maybe this Wednesday we'll do a video showing the process of getting them into the offspring manager on Morph Market. We yeah, have beautiful healthy clutch and last time we were at a show we had several blue-eyed leukistic animals, white snakes, and more people wanted them than, than we had. So this time around, I know there's some feature on Morph Market now where you can like pre purchase animals and then there's like a, d a date when I set that is when they can actually be released and ready to go to a home so I'll probably set that up we'll wait till next video to get all that in order but if you're somebody who's interested in one of these white snakes maybe you can email me beforehand becusgoatme.com and let me know if, if that's you because as I mentioned it seemed like people really like white snakes and, and I didn't have enough to go around to all the people who wanted some last time so this time there should be plenty to go around. We got great odds with that clutch and plenty of white snakes. So that's that. We also have our second clutch of the season hatching right now, which is our Coral Glow. And she was actually the first snake that we tried leaving the eggs with. So this is her second time as a mom keeping the eggs with her and they're, they're hatching out now. They're looking good. And I'm pretty excited about this new process of letting the moms keep the snakes. It's, it's cool. I like it. I highly recommend it if you have your temperatures and humidity and all that stuff dialed in and it's something that you're gonna do without messing everything up because that would be not good. I'm going to try and conquer an addiction and I would like you guys to participate. If you're struggling with this too and you want to join in and have support around you, then let me know in the comments below or hit me on, on Instagram. Maybe we'll just start an Instagram text. I think that's the best way to do it for me. All right, folks, two things real quick. First off, we're gonna be using an app called Telegram to keep each other accountable and stay in contact and make the group. Download it on the App Store and find me as a contact on there. If you have trouble with that, just reach out to me on Instagram and we will make sure you get added to the group. Second thing is this is not just a health thing. We're doing this for spiritual growth and that so there's gonna be praying for each other and, and things like that, just so you're aware. Um, yeah, back to the video. When I was at Hume Lake this past weekend, there was a big fisherman's retreat and there was, there was chapel and there was worship. And during worship, I was convicted that I needed to cut sugar out of my life, processed sugar, something I've dealt with for a long time. And, and I know it seems a little trivial to some folks because like some people are dealing with like real addictions. And I've dealt with real addictions. I, I, I've been addicted to meth. That was pretty rough. That was really rough. And I would say that sugar is harder. I would say the sugar is harder. That's talking. That's coming from somebody who has gotten clean off of what probably a lot of people say. Oh, well, that's not trivial, the meth thing. But to me, the sugar is is harder because a it's very culturally acceptable. B it's everywhere in everything. I mean, it's in ketchup. It's gonna get ugly around here in a few days. I mean, like really ugly. Tried to kick sugar before, and I've gotten several days in, but I just I just I got this baby. And I've got diabetes in my family history, and I just need to cut out the sugar. I want I want to purify my temple a little bit better. I want to be on a higher spiritual level, and, and I feel like cutting that sugar out is going to be the way to do that successfully. And again, it's gonna it's gonna be a rough road, man. I know I know how addicted I am to sugar and how hard it is to cut it out. And my goal is to go for two months without any processed sugar. She's attacking me and she's making me laugh. And then she said that she shoots venomous glitter out of her butt. <laughs> <laughs> so it's about to get a little nuts around here, maybe, you know, for me. 
uh, anything you'd like to say about, I'm, I'm gonna try to cut out sugar for two months. Okay. That's my goal, to go all the way to the end of June, no processed sugar. Okay. Um, well, I've heard this before. It doesn't mean I don't have faith in you. Um, I really want this for you because I want you to be able to live a nice long life without being diabetic. That would be great. So, short term loss, long term gain, right? That's gonna be your mantra? Yeah, the, the only issue is that I mean, there's sugar. Sugar, like there's oh. <laughs> cho chocolate. Okay. So, but um, besides that, we can we can hide all that stuff. I can pack yeah. it up in the thing. We can hide it all. But yeah. I but just are we gonna hide it or are we gonna lock it away? Yeah. T, I'm more concerned about how you guys are gonna handle me in three days. Well, um, I'll kick you out of the house. <laughs> me too. No, <laughs> um, no, you can do it. You've got this. All right, thanks, mommies. Mm -hmm. What time? It's like 2 p.m. on the first day for me right now. And I'm doing okay. But I know once nighttime kicks in, that's why I need to hide all this stuff. Because I will literally go into autopilot and just go searching out anything that has sugar in it. Like while I'm half asleep. You know, there's some chocolate chips left in the cupboard, some granola bars, whatever it is, some juice. I'll find a, I'll get a thing of apple juice and just tank the whole thing because my body's like, you, we didn't have any sugar today. And I know after a few days it'll get easier, but by the third day, I'm just imagining that it's gonna be not good. Like you're not gonna be want to be somebody that's gonna be around me in three days from now. And so it's gonna be the support of my family. It's gonna be like me trying to not be irritable with my kids. It's gonna be. It's going to be rough around here, and I'm looking to, A, inspire other folks to do this if you're feeling it, and B, have some support out there, having a support group so we can keep each other accountable, and y'all can keep me accountable. I know there's one guy here locally to me, at least, that's willing to do it too, so that's, that's cool, but it's, again, I personally think it's going to be one, it's one of the hardest addictions to kick, and it's one that I need to kick because it's, you know, I wish I could just have a couple of like donuts. It's not a big deal. Just have a donut, you know, and then you're then you're fine. Or just have, you know, just have a little cup of ice cream and you're fine. No, that's not what happens with me. I've done it enough times. I get like five pints of ice cream, eat them all, or like get stuff for ice cream Sunday, make it ice cream Sundays, and then I make all of the ice cream Sundays and eat them all. And it's just not healthy. And I could feel it creeping in. That little thing's like getting ready to knock me down, and I just I want to nip it in the bud before it becomes a real problem, which. I'm sure there's some of you guys out there that are just like this. This you're you're ridiculous. And listen, I get it. That that sounds it does sound a little ridiculous to me as I'm saying that out loud, and I feel stupid. Honestly, I feel I feel like a moron because this is a problem for me. But the fact is, it is. It is a problem for me. And I'm sure some of the others others of you out there who've maybe really tried to kick sugar and found out how ridiculously hard it is, especially here in the United States of America, where it's everywhere, everywhere literally everywhere i mean there's probably some sugar in this snake room somewhere i bet i could find it you know what there is right there in that yep see there's sugar everywhere Man, it's gonna be hard to kick it so i appreciate the support um i appreciate you guys watching the channel we'll have more updates next week on the fwc stuff as the hearing takes place on wednesday um when we ship out the snakes soon it'll be with red line shipping please uh, support all our sponsors as they support us and then let's support each other hit me up on instagram let's get a thread going for all of you that want to do this challenge with me of cutting sugar at least till the end of june and i'll keep you guys updated on how it's going i'll probably do an uncut video while i'm on my knees praying to god to help me make it through day three you guys take care of yourselves take care of each other we'll see you in the next video aloha even even the cornstarch cornstarch based packing puffs are starting to smell sweet. Oh, that's ridiculous. Two of my favorite quick meals, Amy Broccoli Cheddar Bake and Marie Callender's Pot Pies. They both have sugar. This is harder than it looks, folks. <laughs>